Hey, it's Brickzar. I have a lot of Lego sets. Why? Because I'm old. I've been collecting Lego a long time. And this is an old Lego set, but it's actually not a set that I bought. It's one that I pieced together. And it's an old set, but it's not as old as me. And it is not minifigure scale. So what is that minifigure doing there? I don't know what he's doing there. This is the Weedabix Castle. It technically didn't have a number. Although some list it under 00-1, but it's just a promotional item, a Weedabix castle. I don't have the instructions. They would have looked something like that if you had had the actual instructions. This is just built from the instructions that are on Peeron, P-E-E-R-O-N.com. And I bricklinked, I, actually I didn't bricklink the parts. I just got the parts from my collection. I did have to, well, technically get one part from Bricklink, the flag. But everything else is pretty much common for that era. And I think this is the first Lego castle. So that's an amazing thing. And it is one of the most colorful <laughs> Lego castles. Uh, they couldn't make up their mind. It's white and red and yellow <laughs> and gray <laughs> and blue. <laughs> primary colors that they had uh, and there is even a little bit of black in there but it's I think it's a, a, a neat looking set and I think it's very neat for being a promotional item I think this is I don't know the full details about it but I think it's something that you sent off and got through a Weedabix promotion um, and I imagine that it probably can, came in a brown box instead of uh, an actual decorated Lego box that's what I'm thinking. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments below. But let's give you a closer look at the Weedabix castle. So, like I said before, this is really not minifigure scale, although a minifigure could kind of walk in through the front door. It's really not that scale. It's more of like closer to this scale. Now, let's put this guy down here. Wait a minute. You're looking. Wait, wait, where's his head? Yes, this way. I can't see because you're so small, little man, and you don't know how to dab. So if the little bicyclist comes in, he wants to get in, uh, that would be about right. And the way I figure that it's about that size, maybe a little bit less, let me show you. It's because I think this piece is a door, but he's a little bit taller than the door. They had two where they, where's an, there's another one, another door right there. And... It almost looked like there should be a window there. I kind of looked at the directions two or three times, and it did not show a window. So it's perfect fit for a window. <laughs> I don't know. And this is definitely over here, not room for a window. That's definitely a door. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what it, it's close to that. So the policeman is directing the bicyclists away <laughs> from the entrance. Okay, so obviously these Lego pieces do not come with this, but they are indeed Lego pieces. So let's just start with the entrance. Exciting. Ooh. It's got the double watchtowers at the beginning. And then we'll just go around. You got this little side here with the blue roof. Ooh, isn't that exciting? Then you got the red wall. And the other watchtower on the end. Exciting. And then another red wall. And then the yellow castle part of it. <laughs> nice. And then another. This one has the blue piece on the bottom. I'm not sure why they did it there, but not on the other sides. Uh, just gave it a little variety, I guess. So that is the outside. And then on the inside, you got the stairway, which... Actually, if it was the scale of this guy... That's a big step. <laughs> it's clearly a big step. <laughs> oh, it's just crazy big. It's like minifigure scale steps. <laughs> and we'll give you a look at the rest of the inside. You have another doorway here that's kind of closed with a blue door. I guess that's like the main entrance. And then the upstairs, again, you got the balcony and then that door there. And then, of course, the Lego flag. And that's 
about it. There's not a lot to it, but it is very colorful. It's a really neat looking set. So when I was piecing this together, I didn't worry about if all of the parts were the correct vintage. I mean, most of the parts in here are actually old pieces, probably from the 70s. There are a few modern replacements of standard bricks, uh, but it's bad looking as some of these bricks are. They are pretty much old. Some are yellowed. Some some just needed to be washed. <laughs> I'm not I'm not afraid to say it. That piece needed to be washed, and I'm touching it. That piece is filthy. And there were some actually dirtier pieces that I replaced. But I figure I'll wash it eventually. Uh, but so, hey, wh what about you? Do you want to build this set? Would you like to build this castle? Let me tell you what you're going to need to look for. Most of the build is standard bricks and plates. So you could use the modern equivalent. Uh, you could go with the light bluish gray. Instead, this is old gray. But even if you decided to get the old grade, it wouldn't be too hard to get these. You know, you get some 4 by 8 plates, some 2 by 4 plates, some 2 by 3 plates. Not, it wouldn't be too hard to get. And then I think there's some bigger plates up here, like 6 by 8 and 6 by 12. So the plates and the bricks, pretty much standard. Even, I think, the slope pieces wouldn't be too hard. I, I, I went with the uh, closed stud bricks because they didn't have the open stud round bricks back then. That's what they... These are here and here, uh, but even those are not too expensive if you wanted to get the closed stud. Uh, the pieces that would be harder to get because they haven't been made in a really long time, and sometimes they can be expensive if you're just looking for those parts, but they're not uncommon. They're not rare, and that's the windows. You get the, the one, is it one by two? <laughs> one by one by two? I don't know. These two brick high red windows two brick high white windows and the these are a little more common oops but they're still out of production um, as I knock off that piece BBI so you got a bunch I think there was like one two three four five six seven eight oh you know what the instructions showed the inventory on this I think showed nine windows so maybe I know it showed eight it showed eight, so definitely. I keep thinking I left a window out there, but that's a doorway. And then you got a few of the white windows. So that would be, those would be the hard pieces to find, uh, but still not terribly hard. The big brick building things here, these are what? Uh, the uh, old 12 by 24 bricks. Again, fairly common. Um, they're not, haven't been made in many, many years, but so many Samsonite sets had them, so it wouldn't be too hard for you to find them. The one part that would be hard is the flag, and I'm not even 100% sure I got the right version of this flag. It's pretty close. <laughs> it, it's close enough for me. <laughs> I, I don't know if this is supposed to have a lip on the bottom of it. This might actually be an older flag than what would have came with this set might actually be a rarer flag than what came with the set. But as I did not build the set from a uh, sealed box, <laughs> which I'm sure was probably just a mailing box in brown, and then it came with the pieces and instructions. I'm thinking that's the way it came. But did I give you enough information on this? There's not a whole lot more to say about it, but it's one of those old, old sets that just looks really neat. Especially when you consider it came out in 1970. Did I say that? 1970, 471 pieces. A Weetabix promotion. Very hard to find this, uh, but not terribly hard to piece together. In fact, if you just wanted to substitute a different flag, it probably would be inexpensive <laughs> to piece it together. I just did a search on BrickLink. So all the parts have been sold in the last six months. Everything. Every part that's in here has been sold on BrickLink. So even if you pieced it together, buying the parts from BrickLink, you could build it for as little as $47 <laughs> buying used parts. So not a very expensive set. There's somebody got this listed used on BrickLink for $500 plus, but it has the original instructions. Now that would be rare. I would say not pay $450 for the instructions, but if I saw the instructions, $100 would not be an unreasonable price. It might be unreasonable to you, and you might think I'm crazy, but 
Uh, that's the rarest thing with this set. But anyway, I thought I'd show you this old vintage set. I hope you enjoyed a look at an old set in my collection. And in that it would be fairly inexpensive for you to piece it together. I recommend doing it if it's something that you like. Don't go out and buy this from somebody for $500 on BrickLink. Go to Peeron.com, print out the, the parts list, and click on the link to go to the instructions. And you can build it too. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you like old vintage Lego, if you like learning about different things in the history of Lego, be sure to subscribe to Brickzar. That's me. That's my channel. And we'll see you in the next video. I'm old and I collect Lego. Bye.